a Bulgaranosaurus skulls across the shallow warm waters of an inland sea, a gang of fluffy chicks in tow. His great chest labors with powerful snorting breaths, his chin wavering with the effort of keeping his head above water. Some months previously, the bull courted a female who wandered into his territory, arching his chin in a coy welcome, now he's got babies to care for as he leads them across dangerous waters in search of new opportunities. This is the image that opens Prehistoric Planet, an astonishing new five-part documentary miniseries airing this week on Apple TV+. Hosted by David Attenborough and filmed by members of the acclaimed BBC Studios Natural History Unit, the show offers a wide-ranging tour of the Earth's landscape 66 million years ago, crossing the lush forests and polar crags of western North America, the baking deserts of Central Asia and South Amay. The Tyrannosaurus scene, rendered in remarkably crisp and convincing CGI, serves as a deliberate statement of purpose, the Earth's largest land predator is presented not as a roaring, malevolent monster or vehicle for blockbuster nostalgia, but as a living, breathing, and very birdy, animal. The past few decades have solidified scientists' understanding that modern birds are essentially dinosaurs, descended from a single branch of the predatory dinosaur family tree. The relationship was initially proposed back in the 1800s, based on the discovery of feathered dinosaurs like the famous dawnbird Archaeopteryx. A concerted reassessment of dinosaurs in the late 20th century, complete with the discovery of new, well-preserved fossils from across the world, basically confirmed the theory. Today, researchers have shown that many predatory dinosaur species were likely feathered, and that plumes of one sort or another may have been widespread across the family tree. In prehistoric planet, small, Dontodromaeosaurs sweep through snowy forests like ground running falcons. Immense, shaggy behemoths like the humpback Deinocharis graze in inland swamps. Even the mostly scaly Tyrannosaurus rex has a subtle dusting of fine, elephant like fuzz, visible only in close up. Its young, like the chicks of modern ground birds, are fully fluffed. The series is also notable for the range of creatures it covers. Each episode stars a blend of familiar and obscure dinosaurs, sea lizards, and pterosaurs, flying reptiles, as designed by a small army of paleoartists. All are presented according to the latest scientific research and showcased exhibiting their own interesting bits of behavior, finding mates, migrating, searching out food and water, or dealing with the age-old scourge of mosquitoes. Every decision we've made is backed up in some way by the actually, 